Hey guys, Sebastian here from GreenMusicProductions.com. So today's video is about multiband compression. I will be using a multiband compressor on my drum group, so it's also possible to use it on drum loops after what I'm going to be showing you. And it's the stock multiband compressor. And uh, what I want to show you today is how to tighten the low end, but keep them in because a lot of people are trying to EQ the low end so their drums are tight but they will lose some low end and it's not as punchy in the low end section. So the multiband compressor uh, looks confusing but it's actually four compressors and you can control the frequency crossfade and you can boost or uh, remove some frequency. You can use it as an EQ basically. So today I will be mainly using this section right here, the low end uh, part. And uh, before uh, we start, I will just uh, press play so we can listen to uh, the drum group. So it's already pretty good, it's already tight, but I want to show you how to use this to get punchier low end while keeping it tight. So um, right now the multiband compressor is not doing anything since all of my thresholds are set to zero. So I will just add some uh, threshold here to see uh, what it's doing. My ratio is uh, at 3.3, but that doesn't really matter for now. Uh, let's listen to it now. So I will exaggerate the effect, the compression, just to show you what it's doing. So if we set the attack to be really fast, we're losing all of the low end. And look at what's going on when I'm um, putting in higher attack. So it's letting a lot of the uh, low end attack come in and then it starts compressing. But right now the release is quite slow because it's set to automatic. So uh, I will set it to the fastest setting just so the compressor will go back to zero really fast afterwards. So let's listen to it now. Now without. With. So now I can just set the threshold to be a little bit higher. Yep, so as you can see there's a bit more low end now but it stays punchy and it's not sloppy. So that was really easy. Uh, you can use that on bass guitars and a lot of stuff. Uh, same kind of technique. Sometimes when you ha have a bass guitar track, some notes will be really boomy, but some others will be brighter uh, because notes are frequencies, basically. So um, you can tweak that with this. If there's not enough low end on certain note, you can boost the low end frequency right here, but compress it when it's too loud. So that will equalize the low frequencies on bass guitars and you can use that for a lot of stuff. Uh, it's really useful and this one comes with Cubase. So uh, thank you all for watching. If you like that video, please subscribe and click that like button. My website is in the description if you need any mixing or mastering services. As always, thank you guys and see you next video. Bye guys.